Hello friends, in the last set of videos we looked into ways to solve a pair of linear equations using substitution method, elimination method and cross multiplication method. In this video we will learn how to solve it using graph. Remember from our earlier set of videos if we draw a graph of linear equation of two variables say x plus y equal to 4 every point on that graph would satisfy the equation like this red line is for x plus y equal to 4 so there are infinite combinations of x and y that satisfies a linear equation of two variables but what if we were given a pair of linear equations for the same x and y there are two equations given here a single value of x and y may satisfy the equation means that coordinate x y would be on the graph of both the equations right let us take an example given pair of linear equations x plus y equal to 4 and 2x plus y equal to 5 if we draw the graph of both these equations by calculating two points of each equation we will get two lines each line representing one linear equation we have learnt about this earlier how to draw a graph from a linear equation of two variables and there can be only one solution of these two lines that is these two lines meet at one point in that case the intersection point would be a common point in both this graph isn't it like in this example it is a point x equal to 1 and y equal to 3 which satisfies both the equations so it is the solution let us take another example we take these two linear equation x plus 3y equal to 6 and 2x minus 3y equal to 12 so if these equations have a common solutions we would find a value of x and y which will satisfy both the equations so for the first equation x plus 3y equal to 6 we write it as y equal to 6 minus x by 3 and for the second equation 2x minus 3y equal to 12 which is 2x minus 12 equal to 3y so y is equal to 2x minus 12 by 3 so this way we can take some coordinates to plot the graph for the first equation y equal to 6 minus x by 3 when x equal to 0 y is equal to 6 minus 0 by 3 which is 6 by 3 which is equal to 2 we got one point for the second equation y equal to 2x minus 12 by 3 x equal to 0 so y will be 0 minus 12 by 3 which is minus 12 by 3 which is equal to minus 4 so we got one point for this equation also now let us find the second value for both the equations to plot the graph because we need minimum two points for each equation remember selecting value of x is important if we choose x as 1 or 2 then 6 minus x would not be divisible by 3 right because it will become either 5 by 3 or 4 by 3 means y would be in fraction that would make it little harder to plot on the graph paper right if we take x equal to 6 for the first equation y equal to 6 minus x by 3 so 6 minus 6 by 3 which is equal to 0 and for the second equation y equal to 2 into 6 minus 12 by 3 which is equal to 12 minus 12 by 3 which is equal to 0 so 6 comma 0 is the common coordinate between the two equations means it is a solution of the pair of linear equations let's see in the graph also as we got two points for each equation let us draw the graph first we draw the two axes x-axis which is horizontal and y-axis which is perpendicular to the x-axis that is y-axis is vertical they meet at a point O whose coordinate is 0 comma 0 now from the table of first equation we draw the graph we have two points 0 2 and 6 0 so AB is the graph of first equation same way CD is the graph for the second equation we have two points 0 comma minus 4 and 6 comma 0 
and as you can see they intersect at a point which is 6 comma 0 as the coordinate so this is the solution of the pair of linear equations 6 x equal to 6 and y equal to 0 is it always necessary to find the value of common coordinate beforehand you must be wondering you can just draw the graph of both the equations by taking the two points if the two equation is a pair of linear equations they will meet for sure right and that intersection point would give the solution for that pair of equation is this true does that mean if we take any two linear equations they will have at least one unique solution which we can find through this graph method not exactly and we will learn about that in the next lesson so please wait for that lesson till then bye bye